Yo, yo, what's going on everybody? This is Brendan back again with another video and today we're doing some street photography at Union Station in Los Angeles and the surrounding area. So fun fact, Union Station is actually the first place that I ever took a photo with a film camera. So it's quite a nostalgic location for me when it comes to street photography and photography in general and if you saw my last video that I posted that video was all about what to do if you have a creator's block or a photographer's block how to re-inspire yourself and motivate yourself to get up and go take pictures again when you're not in the mood to and the one thing I talked about in that video was how going to a place that you have an emotional connection to versus just a place that is really beautiful um, that can help you feel a little bit more connected with the subjects that you're photographing um, this is just a random location people that are strangers that I don't know and it does have really beautiful lighting which helps a lot um, and uh, just a lot of variety and, and interesting subjects to photograph but uh, coming here was especially exciting because of the fact that this was the first place that I came to with a film camera and of course today I'm not shooting on a film camera, I'm just shooting on my digital Panasonic S1H. But it was an exciting challenge to revisit a place I haven't been to in years that I have fond memories of and try to see what kinds of photos I can come up with, uh, you know, years and years after starting my photography journey and seeing the kind of growth and development that I've had. So this was a really, really fun day, just out and about, enjoying myself and taking some pictures. Now I only used one lens the entire day out shooting. The lens that I was using was a Voigtlander 40mm Ultron F2, uh, which is a vintage lens and I have to adapt it from like a M mount to like a L mount, which is what my Panasonic S1H is. And it's an all manual lens, so um, no autofocus or anything. I'm really used to shooting on vintage lenses in this way and not really ever using autofocus, so it's something that I've gotten used to, but I'm hoping in the future to um, shoot on more modern lenses that give me the autofocus feature. I think that would help me be a little bit faster and more fluid in my street photography. Uh, a lens like this is a really, really gorgeous piece of glass and it creates really beautiful images. So, um, And 40, 40 millimeter on a full frame sensor is just for me, it's the perfect field of view for, um, for most things. So you can get really beautiful, you know, wide angle establishing shots with it. And if you're able to get closer to your subject, you can get a really nice, intimate, yet still natural feeling close up shot. So I really, really like this lens. So I tend to do this a lot when I'm out doing street photography, which is setting my camera to black and white and shooting in RAWs so that way if I want to add color later I can, but it's nice to be viewing the image on my viewfinder as black and white. Um, it just tends to simplify the image and you're thinking a little bit more about composition and a little bit more about the lighting. And there's something about photographing people in black and white, it just feels like you're photographing their soul, you know, you're capturing more of the essence of a subject, the essence of a person. And yeah, it's just lately it's felt very right to me. As a cinematographer by trade, color is always so important to me and it's always been so important to me in my whole career. And when I first started getting into photography, color was super important to me and I noticed the more street photography I do, the more or the less that I'm actually relying on color and the more I'm relying on light and shadow. And the other thing that I've been really enjoying experimenting with uh, lately is, as you've seen from a few photos already in this video, longer shutter speeds. So adding some motion blur to the subject. So when people are walking down the street and you create almost a ghostly blur as they're passing by the camera, I'm really liking that. It kind of abstracts people so you're not really staring at their facial features. I don't know, to me, I think if I had an artist statement on my photography, um, you know, using motion blur to kind of create this sense of the impermanence of things and the sort of fleeting nature of time and yeah.
I don't know about you guys, but I've been seeing on social media a really big talking point that's really common about street photography is how awkward it can be taking photos of random strangers in public and uh, people feeling really shy about doing so. And when I first got into street photography, I was feeling very much that way. But the more I do it, the more I realize nothing bad ever really happens by these awkward situations or feeling a little bit shy about pointing a camera at a stranger. In fact, I either don't get a reaction from them at all, and it's not a big deal, um, whether they notice me or not, or they'll give me a thumbs up or a wave or a smile. Um, and there's a bunch of examples in this video of people reacting just like that. And sometimes people will even come up and talk to me and ask me about what I do and ask for a picture of them and their family or whatever it is and I don't know it just feels nice it's like when you're walking around with a camera presenting this energy of just you're just a person out and about having fun it can create this sense of like connection with others and people are more willing to talk to you or wave at you or smile at you whereas when you're just walking down the street without a camera without taking pictures no one will look at you no one will wave or smile and it's almost like you're in your own little world but when you have a camera you're almost silently without even having to talk you're interacting with people and it makes you feel more connected again with humanity and it's one of my favorite things about street photography i just i finish a day of street photography and on my drive home i'm always like in a great mood just feeling so much more connected and it's very creatively fulfilling and inspiring. So I would say if you're one of those people that feels shy or awkward or nervous about going out in public and taking pictures of strangers, I would say give it a try. And my best piece of advice would be just try to always be smiling. Um, don't try to pretend that you're not taking pictures. Um, don't try to ignore the people if they notice you taking a picture of them. Smile at them, wave at them. If they come up to you, just chat. And I think 90% of the time you'll come away with a really positive experience. And you'll realize it's really not that scary and it's actually one of the more fulfilling aspects of street photography. And I'm sure the majority of you can really relate to this, but Whenever I'm out taking pictures, it's such a meditative experience. Like, when you're walking around and you're focusing on all these small details and framing up a shot, all the voices in your head, all the noise, just like, disappears. All of the rumination on the past, all of the worrying about the future, it all just falls away and you're suddenly just like, in the moment and appreciating it. And honestly, I don't know if there's anything better than that.
that'll, that'll be cool with some editing. But yeah, like I got like some cool slow editing. Oh, that one's yeah. cool. The middle yeah, that's pretty sick. And then I got this as well. Zoom down to so. That's so cool, bro. I can send you a color as well, but that's just black no, and white. Great, better. Yeah. Cool, man. Bro. Thank you. I appreciate you, man. <laughs> Weird. Hell yeah.